let me go for directly. This is high and the feet. There's a mirror position. So there's the end A. Or we'll take it over that one. So earlier, this was the position M. Now M dash will come. I'm going to rotate by through an angle theta. What is the angle? Find the maximum value of angle theta for which the image of feet remains visible to the boy. So what should be the normal? So when you rotate this mirror by an angle theta, earlier when the mirror is in this vertical position, OM position, the normal will be directed horizontal. The normal will be directed horizontal. So we'll take that normal here. This was the earlier portion of normal. So as I, as I rotate to an angle theta, even this normal also will rotate. Even the normal also rotate. So therefore, shall we take this normal like this here? Yeah, take this. So what is this? There's a new normal. Huh? Write it here. So the normal should also rotate. So what should be the, this angle? This angle must be theta. Okay, now the incident ray will come. So the rays that are emitted by the foot or happen after reflection should enter into the eye. For that, what is the maximum permitted value of theta? So the reflected, the incident ray, I'll take it from here. after reflection here. Angle of incidence should be equal to angle of reflection. Uh, roughly, I think it's not appear properly. Still, still, I'm adjusting it. There's a, there's a high. Okay, please look at the diagram. So once if you are aware of this, this will be much easier for you. Okay, now what, what is the angle of incidence? Th th this is some angle. I, I don't know this, this angle. So let me call say some alpha. Then this should be the alpha plus theta. Will I agree? Because this, this theta plus alpha is angle of incidence. So this is the incident ray. This is a reflected ray. Now you can ask question, sir, what, what actually this all finally? Now further you rotate this mirror to an angle theta further. The, the rays, what will happen? The, this particular ray, which is there, no? So the, this ray, what will happen? Will not reach eye, will, will pass through above the eye. So then is unable to see the foot. So there's a maximum permitted value of theta. So that theta has to be determined here. Uh, if you can understand this much, I think uh, <coughs> we, we can proceed with the geometry. What, what, is, the, what is the concept here now? If you further increase this angle theta, if, if the mirror comes like this here. So what happened at this particular, the reflected ray what happened? We will will pass through above above his eyes, above his head. Better say that one. Then he's unable to see his foot. So it, it is like when mirror is inclined no ear, the lower edge matters a lot. I'll, I'll discuss two more cases, sir. I'll discuss that one. Now the lower edge, sir. What about the upper edge? You you look at sir. Why you are not bothered about upper edge? If you want to draw a line, nothing wrong. Show a line here. And after reflection, the ray will go here. No? So I should not bother about 
the ray incident at the at this edge m dash of the mirror. The lower edge is what matters a lot. Now, able to analyze. Okay, now getting to the mathematics here. So, what is alpha? Alpha we have information. So, th this is zero point three meter. <coughs> we have information of alpha and one point two meter. So, tan alpha equal to zero point three by so one by four. Okay, there's a tan alpha. We don't have theta. That theta has to be determined. So, what is angle of incidence? Angle of incidence should be theta plus alpha, and angle of reflection is alpha plus theta. Uh, any any help? We have to take it here. Okay, let's do one thing. Look at the triangle EOP. We have right angle triangle. EOP is what right angle triangle is this? How much angle EOP should be equal to? And we have this distance also. EP is how much uh, will be? One point two meter. So look at that alpha plus theta plus alpha plus theta. This one I'll, I'll do one thing. Tan of alpha plus theta plus theta should be equal to E P by P O and one point two by one point two one. So therefore alpha plus theta plus theta should be forty five. Alpha plus two theta should be forty-five. We know alpha. We know alpha, fifteen degrees. So from that we'll get the theta. Alpha is fifteen degrees. So fifteen theta will be fifteen degrees. So now what, what is the what is the discussion now? If the if this angle theta is more than fifteen degrees, the the rays what happen will not enter into I. The rays emitted by the foot after reflection will not enter into the eye. If it is less than that, okay, no problem. So the rays emitted by the foot after reflection will enter into eye. So more than theta fifteen degrees, the rays will not enter into not enter into the eye. Don't say no reflection. Reflection will take place here. Okay, getting this one. The triangle will not look exactly. So the one point two and this one point two no. So look at the data given. From the data, we can make things clear. And now, 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 if you increase this zero point three meters, so you you bring this one here. Any any possibility? So do shift this height. So theta theta, you shift this height, then. If say like if this zero point three meter changes, alpha will change. No, look at the angle of orientation. This theta depends on the site. I am asking some very generalized observation which you are supposed to make. This alpha depends on what zero point three meter and one point two. One point two is the fixed I'm making. So I'll, let me move this mirror to a height here. Then th this will increase. Then if this increases, then alpha will increase. If alpha increases, if alpha increases here. Theta will decrease, so therefore, as you move this, what happens? You have to tilt more. The theta will decrease. Am I right? Fine. So the uh, this one. Okay. Now uh, we we will. Uh, I think we have some problems earlier. We are in class. We have discussed here. So let me introduce some two more situations here. You only let me wind up that. Now there's a height of the person.
de Vermeer. No, height of the person is two meters. So this is the <coughs> head design, this is the foot. So usually a to I will take it zero point. Two meter will take it. And HF should be equal to two meter. Length of the mirror, M1, M2. But once again, I'm, I'm just trying to. So what is the height of the person? Two meter, length of the mirror, I put M1, M2. So what is the length of the, can person, can you see complete his body? And what is the length of the body is able to visualize when he looks through the mirror? What is the height of the person? Two meter. So we have in a book, no? If the length of the mirror is half of the height of the person, then you can see the image completely when, when it is located symmetrically. It is placed on the ground. So for that, you directly take help of the, the reference here. So the ray is emitted. So from I. So only this part of the length of the body is what is able to visualize. I think symmetry diagram is there. <laughs> yeah. So this is theta. This is theta. So what are the things available? Only E A will be visible for him. This will be I. This will be I. Only E A will be visible. He cannot see his head. He cannot see the foot. So this will not be visible. not visible this will be visible so the race you can put it like this I mean, sir how come now you have to ask question sir how come sir these rays after reflection will come there only so why why don't why don't you uh, is it possible or only you can see this part I think uh, I'm not getting answer anybody. Either I'm right or wrong. <laughs> uh, you can see only downward part. Huh? Downward, uh, only FA is visible. Huh? Not like that. So not visible. This is visible. Got it? No. Only FA is visible. So what actually happens is like the rays from here can undergo re refle after reflection can reach I. You can see this. But what about this th This rays? How, how, come, how come after reflection they go like this here? Not possible, no? So I'll, I'll draw the diagram. Try to see that how how it's possible. Can we can we can I draw like this? Wrong, no. It will be angle of incidence, angle of reflection will be different. So this is not possible. So therefore, what is visible is only FA is visible. But sir, what, what is the length of the mirror? Length of the mirror is how much? It is one meter. So again, the position of the mirror also it, it matters. Is it justified? And now I, I will I will decrease the length of the mirror. I'll, I'll bring a very small portion of it. Person on the ground. Head high, foot. Zero point eight meter. Yeah. This will be M1. Zero point three meter. Height of the person. Two meter. Okay, what is visible for him? The rays after reflection, the, the rays emitted by the body after reflection should enter into the eye. Then, then okay, it will be visible for us. That's what, no? I think it's all about geometry. Eh? Take help of the basic geometry. Uh, eight meter, 0 0.8 meter. 
so th this length will be 0 0.8 meter so what will be visible length of the mirror now will become one fourth of the person I will start with angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection. I think that this is what happens here. You know? So that the rays emitted by the ground here will enter into I. So this this P1, P2 of the ground will be visible. Am I right? What about this foot? Foot will not be visible. No, no, you can ask questions, sir. What about here? What about here? That the rays can come like this. Some other color, I'll take it. The rays can come like this after reflection. <coughs> so he's able to see. See, it's not like if you draw a ray, what happens? He's able to see. So you should take help of that angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection. All that mathematics is what you take care of. So can you see his foot? Can you see his head? Nothing, no. So only this part of the is unable to see his foot. So only P1, P2 is what visible on the ground. So here the rays emitted by the the rays emitted by the foot. Okay, we'll see this one. After reflection, they will go like this. They will pass over his head. So there's a thing. So even the length of the mirror, it matters a lot. Uh, now, now, similarly, one more condition. If the mirror is inclined. Already we have seen, you know, let it get tilted towards the person. So he is a person. No? Again, what is that line? Line is a person. Head, high foot it is. Last one more case, I'll wind up. There's a ground. If the mirror is inclined like this, then we'll see what cases will come. This is his head, high, foot. Again, the same conditions. H is 0 0.2, 0 point. That this will be. This is M2. This is M1, length of the mirror, let it be 0 0.5 meter. It is inclined at an angle theta. Uh, what about here in this case? No way, no, no way you can see his foot because the rays emitted here. So, so no, 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 the no, normal, normal, you, you have to search it. We'll go like this after reflection. Similarly, these rays after reflection will go like this. Can you see his foot? Can you see any part of the body? Nothing. So can be asked, okay, shall we put it visible? So we have, I think in books, we have a small discussion about the what should be the minimum length or some what is visible. So I just brought some tilted one, this theta on this side or this one. So just do think on this one. Huh? 